then we can have a reduction in the central visual acuity. Basically, we have physical damage that occurs to the central part of the retina, and that decreases the vision. So when we talk about vision, we think about two parts to the vision, the central portion of the vision and the peripheral part of the vision. The central vision is gonna to have to do more with the macula, which is where most of the cones are densely located. And so cones are gonna be more responsible for your really sharp, detailed vision, as well as your color vision. If a patient has a medical condition such as macular degeneration or diabetic retinopathy, amongst other disease processes, then we can have a reduction in the central visual acuity. Basically, we have physical damage that occurs to the central part of the retina, and that decreases the vision. Typically, when we have somebody come to the eye doctor, we're looking to be able to correct them to 2020. When a person has a disease process and it damages the retina, they'll no longer be correctable to 2020. So in a lot of cases, as the vision starts to decline, once we get to about 2070 visual acuity, that's considered low vision category. And when we get to 2200, that's considered legally blind. And that means that even with spectacles on, their best corrected vision would be to this size here. In these cases, when somebody starts to have difficulty with central vision, then we can teach them to do what's called eccentric viewing. And in that case, they learn to use the adjacent, unaffected peripheral retina to view with instead of the central retina. Of course, it's not gonna be as good a visual acuity, but they're still gonna be able to utilize that retina so they don't go completely blind.